Welcome Leo to your mid-July love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So I hope you guys are enjoying the natural lighting here. <laughs> it's getting a little bit dark and we have some noise going on in the background. So I do apologize, but I need to get these readings out for you guys. So if you are new to my channel, how we do things here is we're gonna use this deck, which is called the AF Tarot deck to pull some energies do some tarot at the end of the reading we are going to pull these lovers of oracles followed by the hidden truth messages from your person now this deck gets more in depth in your person's true feelings i also am going to pull um, a goddess oracle deck for you guys okay and see what uh, you need to hear now let's go ahead and jump right into your reading and see what is coming in for leo all right we have the two of rings energy which is the two of pentacles Ooh, we have the world card here oh judgment two major arcana is very powerful and we have the ace of rings Ooh, and the Ace of Cups, this is nice. And the Empress, the goddess of the deck. All right, now just keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Okay, so we do have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces on the bottom. We have the Hangman. The Five of Swords, Justice, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, High Priestess, King of Cups Energy, and the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. Okay, Leo, so we do have this this Two of Pentacles energy. So this is like a feeling of you kind of slowing down, taking your time here, not really rushing into things and uh, actually putting things into balance here, okay? Or balancing all aspects of your life. Now we do have the world, so there is some completion. There's a lot of obstacles you have gone through and I feel like it has to do with possible an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it doesn't have to be, but that's what's coming in. Um, we do have this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, but I do feel like there's an awakening that is occurring. Now this awakening is really big because bringing, it's closing out this chapter. Um, and you're closing it with a higher level of consciousness. So very powerful, strong Leo. Now, there is a new opportunity within success, within work, however, and there's the Ace of Cups, so a new opportunity in love. So there could be something starting off here, which is huge, but there could be a lot of waiting um, or a change of perspective or a, need, a feeling of like a need to surrender something first. We have this five of swords energy. This is someone who can be very manipulative, someone that you possibly separated from or kept your distance with, but there is an energy here. Now I feel like this person did not take any responsibility or give you what you, des what you deserve. And I feel like you have done everything in your power to make the situation work and wanting it to work at one time. But there's something going on within you to where, you know, even if this person wants to come back for a second chance, it's coming more from this very sneaky energy of the Seven of Swords. And I feel like you're knowing that because you're carrying yourself as the Empress here and the Empress is the goddess of, a de of the deck. Yes, she could be overwhelmed at times because if she's taking on too much, but she is knows her worth, okay? She knows her worth and that is you. So you're not gonna have anything less than what you deserve. You deserve a lot here, Leo. You know, in your past readings too, you've been going through a lot of um, the ups and downs and I'm feeling like there's an energy that sometimes is around you that gets a little frustrating. It could be, you know, um, somebody from the past or present or something you're coming out of. 
but it's it's very selfish energy to me of this person okay they didn't treat you right at all and i feel like that's why you have every right to surrender this person for your happiness uh, we do have this ace of pentacles again you have double confirmation that there's a new beginning here a new um, journey for you an opportunity that's given to you by the universe as the world is closing so this is you going through again all the obstacles um, you know learning all the lessons along the way you have grown you have expanded your life and it's like closing out that chapter now letting go of the past you know going into a new cycle for you right and that's where this opportunity is coming in there could be a um, earth sign coming in towards Virgo Capricorn this is more of enjoying the climb knowing that success is at the end of the, the road here so there's really no rushing I feel like you are you guys are very competent um, within your life and situation and i feel like whoever comes in your life is going to be as equal to that they're going to want to expand with you and grow with you right they're not going to be intimidated or try to you know bring you down for you wanting success or you being successful so i do feel like this other energy though they were just very inconsistent you know very rude and like not, not at your level at all um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, what you don't see. So again, this is like stability. This is you worrying about yourself, your stability, your home, your family, um, and very nurturing and loving person, again, that you are. And in the outcome, we do have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is a very intuitive Leo, okay? This is someone who listens to their gut, listens to their intuition when going through the unknown. So you guys have learned a lot within the situation and I feel like your intuition or gut was right a lot. So now you're trusting that. And I feel like that's why it's going to be really easy to, you know, close out this, um, this cycle or this, this other energy because you're realizing, Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm seeing those synchronicities. I am holding on to my faith and I have a strong, um, I have strong guides that help me through this right and i feel like that's where the outcome is is that you have an inner knowing you're with you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom from this situation and you're not going to let these individuals or people just come in your life and this that can mean family friends or however you don't want anybody to create any more chaos for you this is all a, this is for a leo that's looking towards new beginnings working on new beginnings and who has a lot of wisdom and surrendering something in their life to where that no longer serves them because you deserve more right because you do it's your time we do have the six of swords so this is going into a calmer mindset yes and as you're doing that as you're moving away from this situation not wanting to engage with this five of swords and seven of swords like these games you're like that's that's old to you right so you're more going towards the will the universe is here to catch you. So this is the, the universe on your side. So you could be feeling a big change towards the future and what's on that other side of this world, of this judgment and of this change is these new opportunities. It's a love, soulmate connection. It's an opportunity for a job, for success. It could be really anything. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to open up your business. You have something in your heart that you're wanting to do, right? That's that new opportunity, that love that you want, that fulfillment, that's love within yourself, which brings a love in, right? Because you love yourself. So I feel like this will of fortune is coming in to bring you change and to show you like it's you, it's, it's all yours. It's here. Okay. Very powerful reading Leo. It is getting a little bit dark. I do apologize, but let's go ahead and get into the hidden truth messages and see what this person has to say to you. Whoa, that just wanted to come out. I don't know what comes next. Let's get another one. You inspire me. Yeah. You are, you know, anyone that comes near you or by you, they're going to, you're going to inspire everyone. You might not think so, but you, okay, so I can't do this. I want you back. I feel like that's the game that they played, right? It's like, 
fine, leave, or they would try to win games with you or something, this past energy, but really deep inside you inspire them. But there's something within them that they possibly always want to be right. Or, you know, they, you just can't win with this person or it's the games. It's like, oh, if you do that, I'll do that like type of energy. And I feel like you're just over that, honestly. It's too like wishy-washy. And then we have that I can't get enough of you. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like you won. <laughs> <laughs> um, this person is, you know, probably kicking themselves, but I feel like that's where you're going. You're, you're, you feel just like you're done, right? You're just like, I'm done with the situation. I want something new. And that's what's coming here. You guys could already be starting this already. Okay. For um, a lot of you guys, let's see what the lovers of oracles, what the lovers has to say, what messages do we have for Leo? Ooh, we have a secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Someone could be uh, spying, spying on you. you. You may, not in a creepy way though. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed, Leo. Amazing, let's get one more. We have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember, love is the greatest healer. Okay, so some of you could already have start this new beginning. So it's playfulness and surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter your lives. Let go and all will work out. Big message there. So let's go ahead and grab the goddess of oracles and see what is coming in for you guys. We have resilience. Do you see that? That's you. <laughs> Obstacles are preparation for greater accomplishments. And that is what's coming towards you, Leo. Okay, believe it because that's what you, if you're resonating with this, this is, and you saw this card right now, that is for you. Okay, if you stood all the way through here and you're seeing this resilience card because that is, the message is for you. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what we have here i'm going to read it right from the book so the message gets right to you guys we have the lessons always stem from your failures not your greatest achievements i am affirming that your soul is more than ready for the experience that is awaiting you understand that you chose this lifetime to be integrated in this human experience and put through these obstacles in order to learn advance and ascend take what resonates with this card also okay do not fear this you will overcome these obstacles and be much stronger balanced and equipped to handle any forthcoming task or journey should you accept that this is happening for you not to you rest assured that you are resilient being and you are being divinely guided and that is very important to know that the divine is on your side with this will of fortune this is divinely guided for you guys okay you are resilient very powerful human being you have overcame a lot that's what it's telling me right and that's what i feel here and it's it you have all the power in the world to make anything happen for you so you have so much wisdom and so much to give and you deserve you know that real opportunity and that real love in your life and nothing less leo i'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you if you do like this message or if it helped in any way please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon god bless